Hi everyone, welcome to Beyond Your Knowledge. So we continue learning. So now we're going to learn tips for rubella. Okay. So, but before we continue with the tips for rubella, I would like to share this with you. And this is um, First Corinthians third. I mean three nineteen to twenty. So the First Corinthians. And said that uh, said as follows. So for what the wisdom of this word is fully with God, for it is written, He catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise that they are futile. Now we can move on and learn about tips for rubella. Before we continue, I would like to show you two pictures. Okay, so this is one here and this one is rubiola okay and then I'm going to show you another picture and the other one is going to be rubella so why I'm showing these pictures because it is important that we don't confuse those two now those are things that we can prevent so if we use the vaccine for example the vaccine which is the mm mmr which is measles mumps rubella now i'm going to explain so usually those vaccine we give it to a child when he has 12 to 15 months okay and this this measles which is rubiola which is this one rubiola is measles okay then we have the other the german measles which is this one the german sorry german measles and this german measles is rubella or rubella okay so both are measles so measles mumps rubella okay this is the vaccine now both of those they are a characteristic or they characterized by maculopapular rash so what is the characteristic so maculopapular rash this rash begins in the face of the patient okay and I spread to the trunk and extremities okay so start here this is the face okay they just put the I don't know this face so start from there then we have here extremities okay and then the trunk so start from the face to the extremities and trunk and lower extremity okay so when the, this is uh, this is the maculopapular rash that I start over there and then spread to the trunk and the extremities. Now when we compare the rubiola, which is this one, when we compare the rubiola, the the rash of the rubella, which is this one, usually or typically is going to spread faster. Okay, so that means that this one is going to spread faster. So if you have here, let me just put the here, rubiola, and here we have rubella. So the spreading of rubella is faster. So fast spreading. Okay. Also, this one, as we saw here in the picture, is not dark as rubiola. So that means that so that means that rubella let me just fix this u because it doesn't look like an u and okay so the 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 rash on this one is less dark okay so rubella has less dark rash and also this one has lymphadenopathy and this lymphadenopathy it is in the occipital area okay so the occipital lymphadenopathy 
and basically is the main difference so don't forget rubella is fast less dark link um, occipital lymphadenopathy and it is a toga virus which is very important to know okay rubella is a toga virus and well so so thank you for watching and now if you didn't take a break you need to take a break so remember that it is important to have a positive mind trust in God exercise story eat healthy and have Christ in your heart that will strengthen you. Thank you. God bless you.